I should have done with guys with shit off. What am I about this? You are. No, I just remember being like funny in my sleep. Someone was ringing me, and Cam was like, Someone's ringing you, and then they stopped going. That was me ringing you. Cheeky twice. No, it was Charles actually. No. I've definitely recorded it. The red light of death. Yeah. Yeah. Red ring of death. Oh, ready? Are you ready, George? And then I stab him in his face. Oh shit! The answers we just written. Definitely haven't. I was just gonna say the most inappropriate thing we can. No, no, don't. And I killed him with a hammer. Good representation. That's all we need. That's fine. If you could just start off telling us about your band. Oh wait, when you when you answer the question, can you just include the question in your answers? So say we're like, why do you like music? We're like, I like music because. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay, so what's your band called and why? Who are you? Who are you? <laughs> well, we know the side who speaks here. Well, we are the Plastic Rabbits, um, and yeah. we've only been together a really short time. But you have. Um, well, actually, you've been at two me, of me, two are like original me, members. Me, me and Guy are the founding members of the band, <laughs> but um, these three are um, relatively new. Yeah, I've been in the band like three weeks. Yeah, yeah so I'm I mean, a little bit longer. We've been, we've, yeah. <laughs> we, just used, we just used to jam, like me and Henry, just like, well, and we had like another guy who plays bass, another guy who drummed, but it wasn't really anything serious. We used to like just chill at people's That's houses. Mess about and then and then I kind of wanted to do something more serious and then our, our drummer got well our guy who was drumming for us at the time got got signed to a, another band so we we, we found Cam uh, uh, we're really lucky actually we find him after one rehearsal and He's then an excellent drummer the bassist was a, ba a big <laughs> issue a bit because our bassist quit he worked full time and didn't really want to do it so we we had like three or four bassists that we tried basically out. it's just been a shambles for the past couple of months but now finally we've got a full Joe. band yeah. and we can start gigging and getting the word out yeah, and, and writing more night, songs so, so. Just, we're just writing tunes and, and we're digging and stuff yeah it's just really cool um why do you love making music i think i think we love making music because it's just it's enjoyable it's just not something to do but like we just if we don't have anything to do me and you are just jam for like five hours like you know what i mean just like i yeah i love music and i think the <coughs> because I can make it is yeah. a, a reason why I love to do it because I, I love music so much and I enjoy listening to a ridiculous range of music and then if I can well we can all get together and create something like that yeah. it's I think when we wrote reason to love it. when we wrote say hypocrite which is like our first tune that we have that me and Charles wrote like it was it was kind of like a pretty big thing because we realised that we could actually make tunes that we liked ourselves mm. and when we played to other people they liked it as well yeah. and then when we wrote yeah. say moving on it was literally just me, th me having a chorus idea of, oh, no one cares what you might think, what do you reckon will go with the guitar? Uh, what do you reckon will go with the vocals? And then you just came up with, what do you reckon about a really like, folky chorus? And I was I'm like, not Mumford and Sons. He's not Mumford and Sons. You are Mumford and Sons. It was, it's, it, and then the chorus was just kind of a folk, <coughs> folk rock part, and I really liked it, and I said, yeah, let's go for it. And then we did, and then recently we just got Joe's funky ass bass line in it, and it's just, it's all come together. and then. Henry, yeah, likes the Henry likes to walk in when a song's almost complete and just put the little touch on, which which makes it that much better. Music also stops you getting real jobs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's, a good, that's a good excuse as well. What What does music mean to you? That's our question, Carl. Everything. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Music pretty much means everything. everything. Right? Yeah, because I'd be doing pretty much nothing if it wasn't for it. To be honest, I'd just be like, I probably won't even go to college. So, yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't be in uni if I wasn't if it wasn't for music. So. Well, I would, but I don't want to do what my my course is. So. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much screwed if I don't. <laughs> no, um, you think look at Campbell's at music college. Joe's doing music at uni. Me and Charles are doing journalism, but all like have a big interest in music and stuff. And <laughs> this guy's doing law. Yeah. So we've got a range of stuff, but I think we all really just enjoy the tunes that we make, as well as like a really big range of other tunes. <laughs> Yeah, it's, all, it's, yeah it's, also, it's also like a good way Let's get away of, with it with a grin. Yeah, it's also like a good way of like, um, expressing yourself as well, yeah. to be honest. It's a good release. Definitely. Yeah. Mm. Definitely. Um, if you've had a bad day and things, there's nothing better than yeah. just, yeah, like, just, like, just going and writing a dodgy song. It's, it's good, <laughs> it's good like, to have like, like, I had, I had like a bad breakup, and just just a great thing was just to write songs about it. You hear about it all the time. Yeah. The songs. You know, all the time, man. All the time. Writing about it. Never stop talking. I know. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Literally. 
<laughs> it's good as well to keep your options open because we're doing journalism and ideally yeah. if I could get paid a nice wage to do that for the rest of my life I'd be happy but yeah. then if the opportunity came along to be in a band full time and get signed and play gigs and just free guitars have a free guitars, <laughs> free guitars. Um, it would just be um, a great option so it's always something to kind of keep open and enjoy doing it and this is kind of the perfect time when we're all together and we can haven't got as many responsibilities as we may have like in years to come so it's, mm. yeah what are your aspirations as a band? Free guitars. <laughs> See, he has stupid aspirations. I have real aspirations. That's a real Re aspiration. In the, in, the, in, the in the near future, I'm going to play Broodnow Social Club. It's because it's just a massive, like, it has a massive tradition of, you know, kind of new bands coming along and then they, they a lot of them become really big after they play there. And eventually, I want to play Leeds. Yeah, that's what I want to do. Play Leeds, play Leeds Festival. I'd like people to be genuinely interested in our yeah. music. And I'd like people to just who, believe that Who weren't like our mates, do you know what I mean? Who we yeah. didn't get a fan base. I'd like a strong fan like, base. Yeah. Probably do a tour, it'll be good. Yeah, that'd be brilliant. Even if it was only a UK tour, it'll be fun. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I'd just, I'd just love to just do this for the rest of my life. Even if I was, on, even if I was driving around the van eating cat food. That's yeah, cool. I'd like... I think that's maybe a bit extreme, but you know what I mean? Like, I, I, <laughs> I think this is what I want to do. Like, this is We're really classy. Man, if we, if to do. I'd be happy to have enough money to get by and always be playing music yeah, and having yeah. to work some crap job. I'd rather, yeah, I'd rather do that than be really famous and be a lawyer or something. I'm famous? I mean really rich. It's isn't it? Yeah. Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> That should change. No. <laughs> guys, you need the toilet. Yeah, guys, you need the toilet. Best lawyer, you just shout. Imagine if everyone was a judge on that big wig. You just go, I'm worried. I think it's a judge. Imagine if there was a judge on that big wig. That would be really Yeah, man. Imagine that. He's a full-on attorney. Where can we get that? Just throw it. Where can we get that? Yeah, surely. We are some sexual problems. Some sexual problems. You'll come on a tight like a bunny. <laughs> no, the light is recorded. <laughs> oh dear. Um, <laughs> Maybe you can give us a copy of it. Shall <laughs> Sorry. If you're assigned to a major label, would you change your music quality? No, no. no. I would no. never want the band to be signed to a major label because major labels are evil. <laughs> Good say. I don't really agree with that, but I think I think if you look at the Arctic Monkeys, that like I really love the Arctic Monkeys first album. Really love this, like love their second album. And then, since then, I mean, it's fine advancing as music because we've got lots of different styles and we change, we change a lot. But I mean, don't there's no, there's just no need for you to jump and just try and be something that you're not. I think, I think though, being signed by any label would definitely change the way we would probably play, just because we'd have more exposure, we'd have and more, more time, yeah, and more have, but I think money to spend. Improve on. our playing. Yeah, yeah improve our playing. But I don't think I it do. needs to be. It needs to change it so drastically. We change naturally for us, not for yeah. somebody yeah. saying do this, do that. We, yeah. I'd never want to conform because it would just make you like every other person out there. Yeah. Every other actor. To, yeah. If you go into a major label, that's just for the money, isn't it? And I'm not. Well, we're not really in it for the money. I'm, I'm in it for I, the I, guitars. I, yeah. <laughs> I'm, just I'm not averse to being signed like by a major label. You just got to make it clear from the start that you're not gonna. You're yeah. Not gonna, you're not yeah. gonna just. You're not gonna Panda be. to what they want. You're basically. not gonna be Coldplay Part Two. You know I love Coldplay. They no. They are. Please no. no don't, <laughs> don't admit to liking Coldplay. Yeah, I like Coldplay, Coldplay but I think they, they, are, they have mainstream from the city from their roots. They're like, they're like new album is basically a dance album now, isn't it? Yeah, Coldplay. dance pop. Yeah. I'd like to have a dubstep album. Oh, I'll be good. Who's <laughs> <laughs> gonna listen to dubstep with you wearing a dubstep? Yeah. <laughs> They'd be like, <laughs> I expect a dubstep and suddenly just a banjo. Banjo <laughs> <laughs> dubstep. That's the new idea. Ukulele, oh. banjo. Ukulele, banjo. Oh no. Accordion dubstep. Don't we need another question? Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna waffle on for ages. What do you think independent music is? Um. I, don't, I can't define independent music. <coughs> independent music is music created by people independently, re recorded and released independently. But then you have the term indie, which is yeah. completely different. Indies, indies, more of a style of music. Style of music these days than what independent actually means. So, yeah. I, prefer, I prefer the term alternative. Um, how do you think all the new media has affected the music industry? Um, I think quality of music has gone down, in, not in the sense of what's being played, but 
vinyl music is production. such a higher quality than compared to say mp3 and i'd love that to be i'd love to just be able to whack out a vinyl and i'd love it to be more available and yeah. if we ever did get a, an album released i'd love it to be pressed and put yeah. on vinyl actually yeah. awesome. well, vinyls the sales of vinyls and things are going up yeah. exactly yeah. and that's thing and with digital downloads and things yeah. you, there's no there's no like it's because it's not having anything. Yeah, there's no sense of ownership to things or yeah. anything like that. Yeah, yeah. It compresses it and also the sound's a lot well, it's worse. Yeah. Yeah. If we you buy it. things off iTunes, it's compressed ridiculously and you just lose so yeah. much quality from it. Yeah, but, uh, yeah I think we, we, interview, well, we, we were doing a little project for some uni work the other day and we interviewed this guy and he was, I was like, what do you think? I asked basically this question like, do you think the modern day music culture has changed it a lot? What do you think? He goes, well, you know, in my day, like I used to have, I used to have my vinyl sc- stack and I had my vinyl player, and it's, it would be there. It'd be real. Like it'd be, I can see my vinyls. I can pick them up. I can put them on and they play. Whereas nowadays, if you got a download, if you delete the song by accident, or you know, you lose that, you know, your, your files all go or something. You don't have anything in your hand that you know you can't lose. Mm-hmm. So I think that's, I think that's a, a big thing for nowadays. And I think stuff like the X Factor is just taking. No one cares about the singing anymore. Mm-hmm. It's like if someone takes cocaine, it's like, yeah, go, go to the next round. You know what it's I mean? just a big media frenzy. Yeah, it's all about the money and the fame. It's all about social personality. Sing, isn't it? If they can't sing, but they, they look nice, or or they yeah. or they have tattoos of girls' names on their ass, then they'll get they'll get through. You know it's know? always it's like always the runners up and things like that yeah. that do better as well. Yeah. it's like the winners release their first single and then just because there's, so there's so much hype, there's so much hype, and then it's um, just, just goes up. And then the runner up always comes through and releases a couple of albums. Jealous. Or something. I know well, that's not really a great example. I do, it in terms of I do think. Um, like Facebook and it kind of started off with MySpace like years back I remember Actually, like band pages one, and things like that now Facebook do I think that's really good that's it gives you a lot of exposure and SoundCloud yeah. things like that and I think the artists complain that because there's so everything's mp3 nowadays and it all gets illegally downloaded they're obviously just in it for the money and it for the wrong reasons I'd love someone to be downloading my song yeah. as we speak yeah, I, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I know, yeah. Yeah. My yeah. Songs illegally. I know we're obviously people, in a different if position if people were robbing your songs at least they care enough to rob your songs yeah. 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 I feel like you can I mean, of course, it's not nice someone robbing songs. Like, I'll just give you it. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean, like, so I think we'd, we'd rather have the fan base and the money. I mean, yeah. yeah, that's right. Like, yeah. We go, we play gigs now. We actually go out and we pay to play gigs. Not really pay, but you know, we pay the transport. We put the effort in. To get we, yeah. the effort in we, we go, we go around trying to find them. So but we do get free beer, and we that do get free beer. Nice. That's fantastic. That well, and leads to terrible nights. <laughs> <laughs> that last night. So, so. What do you think um, the music industry is going to be like in 10 years' time? Um, Mental. It seems like it's completely better. different from what it yeah. is now. I think it's getting better. The music industry is going to change every 10 years. It's going to be... Years, it's going to be completely different, you won't be able to tell it. I think, I personally think major labels are going to go down and it's it's yeah. going to be the rise of independent music. That's what it's actually um, going on. All the old self-released indie stuff is going to go through the roof. That's what they're converting. You don't, it's not you don't need major label, labels so. to make things anymore. You can do a lot yeah. of stuff from home. So You look at Domino. Domino, like Arts Monkeys, Rascals, you know, Last Shadow Puppets. The, the guy started out when yeah. he first signed all those people. There was, he was just running it from his flat. And I mean, he, he's like run now, he runs about 60 bands, all big bands. And I think that artists as well starting their own labels, you know, once they've released a couple of albums, they've got to save enough money, they build, they build a recording studio, they, they start their own label. I think that it's going to come to a point where the artists buy it back and they just, you, they just don't use them. Anymore. You wouldn't have been able to do that like 30 years yeah, ago yeah. or something that, like when when it was the time of vinyl, you wouldn't have been able to do that because you wouldn't have been able to afford to do that. It's the internet and and media like that that's that's making it possible to 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 release yourselves and things. So I suppose it's good in that way. Going back to the last question. Yeah. Yeah. So.